My name is Julio Gutierrez. A lot of people know me as Jules, the main creator behind Chuntikis. The idea of it is it's derived from the word Chunti, which not a lot of people use because it's somewhat of a slur, derogatory term. Mostly it's Hispanics putting other Hispanics down. Uh, I kind of decided to use that term and kind of empower it. So I just created this idea of pseudo tiki and tropical cocktails. But the idea was to market to paisas or Hispanics, chuntis, <laughs> not your typical white tippy, tiki, uh, tiki co cocktail crowd. Cocktails that maybe my mom and my tias might enjoy. Limon y nada, which translates to lemon or nothing. That was inspired by a long, hot summer day. Pretty much feeling like I wanted lemonade. And then going to, this, uh, going to the grocery store and realizing how prices were so high on certain citruses. Then I read about how immigrant workers, especially in Southern California, were, even though they were affected by COVID, they also were exploited by it because there was only certain orchards that were utilizing them. So a lot of people were just like, hey, I'm gonna pay you under the table for X amount of money. So that inspired me to make a refreshing lemonade cocktail and bring awareness to the people that are picking that fruit. The second cocktail is called Mil Ponches, which uh, translates to a thousand punches. Mil Ponches is inspired by Mil Mascaras, uh, a famous Mexican wrestler. Everyone stateside kind of knows about El Santo and Blue Demon as you know the most famous wrestlers but it was actually Mil Mascaras who fought alongside that from the same era with them that actually made Lucha Libre International by doing films across the world so my idea is like let me make a fruit punch it's just kind of an international thing and it just so happened with me uh, coming up with these flavors of doing hibiscus using some of the syrups in there um, that somehow ended up tasting like Hawaiian punch. It's pretty tasty. <laughs> the third drink is called Sapotec Tec. Um, and yeah, it was inspired by the Sapotec civilization that helped fight alongside the Mexicans against the French on the Cinco de Mayo or the Battle of Puebla. They were known as the people of the clouds because they lived in high elevations. One of the ingredients they use is blue curacao, but it used just enough so the drink kind of looks like blue sky because they were known as the people of the clouds. I made sure that I use aloe because they're probably using a lot of aloe in their high and or low altitudes because they're also people they also live in the valley. Um, I wanted to make sure there was enough herbal coming through so I used green chartreuse because they probably use a lot of herbs in their medicine and even though it doesn't really come into play in the flavor profile I do finish it with a little uh, spruce tip of a Douglas fir. They are probably surrounded by Douglas firs in the high elevations of Oaxaca and where the Zapotec from. So I wanted to make sure even that part of the story was highlighted in the garnish and or cocktail. So maybe it brought you closer to the clouds like these people were known as people of the clouds.